Hey, it's the Rock Father here, and I love the Power Glove. So bad. With the 2018 holiday season upon us, it is time to talk about one of the biggest trends of this year, and that, of course, is retro gaming. This has been something that's been building for the better part of about a decade so far. The last couple years, it's really kicked in, and I don't think there's been a bigger year than 2018. Of course, things started to pick up steam two years ago when Nintendo issued the first NES Mini. It was a compact edition of the 1985 Nintendo Entertainment System, packed with games and value priced at just about 60 bucks. Of course, those were in short supply. And then came last year's Super Nintendo Mini, the SNES Mini. That was the classic edition that was the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, loaded with games for a hundred bucks. For 2018, Sony is getting in on the action with the PlayStation Classic. Like the Nintendo counterparts, this is coming loaded with 20 games, priced at about $100. Since it's not being released until December of 2018, we don't know yet what the availability is going to be, but I expect them to be in short supply. What I find to be most exciting about the retro game craze right now is that arcade machines are back. A new generation of kids is experiencing the throwback to the 70s and 80s when quarters would be dropped in slots to bust out some games at your local video arcade. It's pretty appropriate that Walt Disney Animation Studios is issuing the long-awaited sequel to Wreck-It Ralph this winter. Ralph Breaks the Internet is taking things from Litwax Family Fun Center, an arcade, to the internet with characters from some classic games. Pay attention because they're going to come into play later. On the arcade front, no matter what size you might happen to have space for in your home, there is something for pretty much everyone. From Super Impulse comes Tiny Arcade. These are impressive little systems with a keychain attached to them, each featuring a fully playable game. I love playing with these and the cool thing is, they're essentially action figure size. For something a little bit bigger, the folks at Basic Fun have their Arcade Classic series. These are retro-styled mini arcade games with authentic 80s graphics, sounds, and gameplay just like you remember. They've got Pac-Man, they've got Space Invaders, and then for this year, one of my favorites is Rampage. Of course, Rampage was recently a movie, but this is the classic arcade game packed into portable handheld style. Also tying into Ralph Breaks the Internet, Basic Fun has an arcade classics version of the in-movie Fix-It Felix Jr. This is available now as a Walmart exclusive. When it comes to retro gaming, the hottest thing going this year is Arcade 1UP. These machines are three-quarter size arcade cabinets from the folks at Tastemakers. I was first introduced to these at the 115th North American International Toy Fair in New York last February, where I was pulled into a makeshift arcade to get a look at some of the early prototypes. One of the ones that I have in my office is the Street Fighter 2 cabinet. Remember I said Street Fighter 2 was important? Well, characters from that Capcom classic have made their way into Ralph Breaks the Internet, so be sure to look for Chun-Li, M. Bison, Ryu, and others when you hit the cinemas this fall. Right now, there's Asteroids, Centipede, Rampage, Street Fighter 2, Galega, and more. There's a bonus edition that has about 12 games on it that's selling as a Best Buy exclusive, and in what they've called one of the worst kept secrets of the fall, there is a Pac-Man edition that is going to be available on Black Friday only at Walmart. These are highly recommended, they ship flat, easy assembly, you're probably going to have to find a place to put it, but huge fun and they're perfectly sized to kids. Grown-ups will dig the arcade action that they remember from their youth with authentic joysticks and buttons. All of the great retro games featured in this video are Holiday Wish Guide picks from yours truly, and you can always check out the annual list of great gift ideas available at therockfather.com or holidaywishguide.com. Why should it be this one? Because it's so bad. <laughs>